Well, hello there, precious family. How you blessed living family people and those of you who watch it in. How y'all doing on today? Well, I just hope you are doing well. And that is our prayer that you are doing well. And we're glad to have you. I'm so glad you stopped in. I'm so glad. We're doing a simple meal on today, but it's a good comfort soul food favorite, y'all. You know how many know we grew up on hamburger, steaks, and gravy. Onion, hamburgers, hamburger, onion, steaks, and, and that good gravy. And I'm going to do a box hack on the all gratin potatoes, cheese potatoes, and some black eyed peas and cornbread. So I think I'm going to slice some nice tomatoes up on the side to garnish that with. And it's just going to be a beautiful comfort food. And uh, I'll tell you, fill your belly up. It's a marry me food, I tell you. <laughs> and it's uh, just a go-to thing. So I um, hope you can learn something from me and I can learn something from y'all. This is the way I do it. And um, uh, I'm going to do it today on the grill because uh, I love the way the grease goes into the um, into the uh, uh, grease catcher on the on the grill so we don't have to have greasy burgers and uh, greasy hamburger steaks. Let's get started. I've got um, two packs of ground chuck here. I've got green peppers and onions that I'm going to incorporate in this meal. And I've got my uh, Lipton onion soup mix. I've got one pack for the, um, for the, for the hamburger steaks and one that's going to go into the gravy. And I've got my famous lorries, my garlic powder, my black pepper. I'm just going to add a touch of ketchup for that tomatoey taste that I love. Uh, make them taste a little like meatloaf. Okay, let's get started. Now, first I have to season. And God, I need your help. Help me go forward in you. And... Thank you in Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to add my lorries and season my meat good. My hands are washed. And you just got to be prepared to get that meat all in your hands and everything. I am going to rinse my fingers off because I want to take my rings off. I'm going to take these rings off and just set them up. And first get all of my ingredients in. Now I've got my seasoning and if I think I need a little bit more, I'll add a little bit more. Now I'm going to add my garlic powder in. And I can be more generous with the powder than I can with the salt. It's softer. And there's nothing added into it. Okay, my black pepper. Lightly. Don't want it to be too hot and peppery. I'm going to incorpor I'll just incorporate my ketchup. And I don't want too much because I don't want this to be uh, a um, the firmness of the burger to fall apart. So... I'm going to add some of my onions because I want to have some for the gravy. And you can dice the onions for going inside the burgers. We'll save the large ones for the, for the uh, gravy. Let's my hands off. I'm just going to get all of that in together, all those good seasonings in together for a nice tasting hamburger steak. And it's going to just all complement each other. And it'll be something that you just love. It smells good already. <laughs> How y'all doing? Hey, new subscribers, what's going on? Hey, I know it. I see y'all. I'm so glad you're here. Hey, like, share, subscribe. Get this channel going, somebody. Some good stuff in here. 
Uh-huh. Now we're going to test and see how hot my grill is. And one last touch I didn't want to forget, my green peppers. I'm going to use some for the gravy and I'm going to incorporate some into the meat. So I'm going to get them all in there. Nothing like the that green pepper accent in your food, in your meats. I'm just going to get it all in there and then see how hot this grill is. And my grill is hot, and so now I'm just going to form these into patties and put them on that hot grill. Riddle. Riddle grill. <laughs> I'm smashing Okay, I'm preparing my water for the black eyed peas, and of course I have to wait till they boil. The black eyed peas are soaking, and I'm going to rinse them about four or five times for extra cleanliness. I'm going to add my lorries to the water. Season that water up, making soak in some good water. Season the water. I'm going to add my soft pork in, bacon, it's just thick bacon. Just a little black pepper here. Give it some punch. Touch of Frank's hot sauce in there. You use the hot sauce you like. A little touch in that water. I will let, let that uh, come to a boil. Get it stirred all up. So it's ready for the peas to go in. We're going to go finish washing these peas off, rinsing them off. And I'm just going to strain that water off. Leave them sitting. If you want clean peas, remember they come from the ground and they can be dirty. So we're going to clean those peas off until they look white and beautiful and not just black brown. Add just a little bit more water and do it one more time. You see my water becoming clearer and clearer. Now I have my flour here and I'm going to get a whopping maybe 
two, three tablespoons here into that flour. I want enough to thicken my gravy. And this is what my way of making gravy. It just, I'm stirring it with the gravy dry, just sifting it, just sifting it. I'm making it lighter, it's not sticking together. I got some water running hot, hot, hot. You see the smoke coming off the water. Now I'm going to feel that slowly while stirring into that gravy. Really, 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 really tough because I don't want it to form lumps and I won't have lumpy gravy, but a beautiful, clean gravy. And so I'm stirring, 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 and I'm going to fill that up to the top. And as I need more water, I'll just put more water in. I'm going to get it into that skillet. See there, how clear. Just a little bit more. Now the key to any good dish is preparing the sauces before. This is how I do it. I know a lot of people, they feel the gravy, and, which is fine too. As long as the food comes out good, this is how I've learned to do it. And you get that smooth, beautiful, silky gravy. That's your guests and family love. Let's let it start thickening. I'm going to season it with my lorries, y'all. And I put my lorries in that gravy. I'm going to give it some garlic powder. I'm going to give it some pepper, very lightly, light pepper. Since I'm making a larger pan, I'm going to use two packets of Lipton onion soup mix. And I'm going to just dump that in. That's your kick and that's your flavor. Stir it all in. Get it all in together. How beautiful is that gravy, y'all? You ever saw a gravy that beautiful before? I'm going to test it off with my finger. Beautiful onions and green peppers. And watch it thicken. That's going to be good, y'all. Beautiful. Beautiful. steaks. Let it simmer and thicken. See I've got enough to smother them, the cupboard. some of them bright grilled onions in there. I tell you, if you take the right steps, you'll come out with a good meal every time. And you'll be proud of it. And now we want to got our 
meat to go in good, but Jesus, we want to start skimming our surface. You notice that that sk food scum comes to the sides. It always rises, comes from vegetables, meat, all that. And so you want to get that off. And that shows you in all the past videos that we always scrape that off. Never leave it off. You want to present a beautiful dish. Color and flavor. Color and flavor. Somebody write in the comments, color and flavor. Y'all know I was going to make y'all say color and flavor. <laughs> and I'm going to write it in too. I'm going to say it too. <laughs> color and flavor. Uh-huh. We want our food to be artistic and beautiful. We want it to let it just... Uh, Give an impression. I'm going to turn this down to uh, medium. I want you to see the beauty of this gravy and how thick and beautiful how it's coming. See? There you go. You can see your meat, see your vegetables. Wait till it starts cooking. It'll rise. That stuff will rise. And you just take and skim the top. Now we're going to turn it down and let that simmer. We're going to let that, let that simmer. Now we got some nice water ready for some black eyed peas here. I'm going to wipe the stove off. Plus I hate a dirty stove. I'm going to add these beautiful clean black eyed peas into that water. To that thick bacon. Give it some love and color, and throw in some uh, green pepper, onion, red pepper mixture, frozen vegetables. Give it a good stir, and we're gonna let those just cook and cook all the cook on down. They'll cook themselves. And you'll have a beautiful dish. Okay, I've got two boxes of all rotten potatoes. These are Idahoan. And, um... I'm going to do a hack, and they're just going to be so good, like homemade. Um, they really are real Idaho potatoes. They're just dried. And so um, I've already added one and a half cups of hot water. It's hot boiling, or if your water runs hot out of your uh, faucet, that's good enough. You just make sure the water's hot. And so by having two boxes, that's three cups of water, one half, one half. Uh, three, three cups. Okay, I've added uh, a half a cup of milk per box. Now I'm going to add my butter, which it doesn't call for this much, but I hack the, 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 the recipe. Sometimes you can make them yourself and you slice your potatoes and all that. These are just as good, trust me, and you'll love them. And no one will know the difference. They'll appreciate you for making them. And then we're going to add our cheese sauce. And I'm going to enhance the, so the sauce by adding real sharp shred shredded, shredded cheese. And just stir until you get that 
all mixed in. And we're going to add some chives, which is not on the recipe, but I add them. And it's optional for you, but you will love it. Add some sharp shredded cheese. So finish that bag out. Just some sharp cheddar. You can add super sharp or the kind you like, but some kind of cheddar is good with this dish. You've already got cheese in it, so you don't have to add too much. Let's stir that all up. And then we're going to get our dried potatoes in. And spread them all out evenly. Just add some chives for color and flavor. Color and flavor. And we're going to get them in the oven. We'll get those in the oven at 375. And we'll just watch them. And we'll just do our cornbread for our black eyed peas and for the finish the meal, top it off. And we, again, I've got about um, uh, two and a half cups of cornmeal mix, buttermilk cornmeal mix. And then I've got um, a cup of self rising flour. I'm going to add just a touch of sweetener, a little sugar, not too much because I'm not making cake, I'm making cornbread. And we'll put a little baking powder, even though it's shelf rising, it doesn't hurt. Okay, I'm going to put in one egg. I'm going to add our milk slowly. And as you see how the batter thickened, you know you need a little bit more, but better slowly than add too much. You don't want a soupy batter. Now it's thick and I want to thin it out some. I'll add a little bit more slowly. I can add my oil. Pour my oil into my pan. And we'll get it into the pan. Okay, I've got that pan ready and just stirring, stirring, making sure everything's all in there good. Lift all up. I'm using a fork this time. No mixer, no whisk. The bowl is small, so I can use the fork. And I'm just going to get it into my pan. A nice, good, beautiful cornbread to go on the side of that. Black eyed peas. sides cleaned off. That's ready to go in.
And we got that cornbread in right next to those all rotten potatoes. And everything's going to be done in a little bit, y'all. It's all done. It's all the cooking preparation is all done. So looking for a great dinner today. Oh, boy. Look at that beautiful golden cornbread, y'all. How you like that beautiful cornbread? Ah, ah, oh, y'all. And a beautiful all rotten potato hack with that uh, sharp cheddar cheese we added some chives in there. Milk butter. Those are looking good. I'm going to let those uh, just cool off and thicken. And everything looks good. Our black eyed peas look delicious. And we're just going to let those, we just turn those off and let those cool off. Let's see what our hamburger steaks look like here. Oh, how beautiful. They look delicious. Uh huh. And all that beautiful onion gravy with green peppers and oh that's just now somebody say that's just ready look at that look look at that beautiful gravy look who's gonna make this dish who's going to make this dish somebody gonna make this dish color and flavor somebody praise god hey y'all <laughs> i'll tell you we don't know what's gonna happen in the blessed living kitchen and there you have it, y'all, the first plate of those delicious, beautiful hamburger and onion steaks. We got green peppers in there, of course. And we have our uh, hacked um, all gratin potatoes with extra sharp cheese. We got chives in that. Beautiful country, good. Black eyed peas. And we've got, hallelujah, some garnished it all with some sliced Roma tomatoes and Italian dressing. And I think your family, your guests, are going to really love that beautiful plate made with love. Color and flavor is right there on the table. Oh, we got a fresh cornbread right there, y'all. Look at there to go with that and top those black eyed peas. This dinner is ready. This is a ready plate, y'all, full of love and just well thought out. And it's just a good old country favor. There's nothing fabulous. It's just good old good eating. And it's done with love. Okay, look at that. Look at that gravy. Look at that onion gravy, y'all. Get a look at that onion gravy. Look at everything, and if you follow this recipe, it should come out just the same way. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Yep, it should come out the same way. Oh, look at the cheesy potatoes and all the beautiful sliced tomatoes with that beautiful Italian dressing. Oh, my goodness, what else could you want? Thank y'all for coming. I can't wait to hear your comments. Like, share, and subscribe. Show somebody where the Blessed Living channel is on your Facebook pages, your Instagram, your TikToks. And I tell you, I just thank God for your life. And we just thank him because we can't do it without you. We're doing this with you in mind. Until next time, I'll see you next video.